What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Musty Eddie's Tactical HQ. Well, it's time to finally install the Tackstar side saddle on my Remington 870 Tactical. The uh, tools you're going to need for this are obviously the, the Allen wrenches that come with the Tackstar side saddle. Uh, you're going to need a uh, hammer. Something smaller would be preferable. I only have this huge hammer here, so I'm going to make that work, hopefully. And some Loctite would be preferable to make sure things don't back out on you. Um, I chose to go with the medium strength. Um, I'm not a big fan of the the red super strength Loctite, just in case you ever need to take something apart. You don't want to worry about having to strip your screws or anything trying to get that out. So uh, medium strength will work just fine for you. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You, there's tons of videos out there on YouTube about how to do this. So the way I found is the best way to do it is you simply take the screws they provide. You uh, take line it up with the pin here. Take a hammer and knock it straight through. It'll pop the pin out, leave a little bit of thread exposed. Put this sucker on there, tighten it down, and you're good to go. So we'll go ahead and uh, get started. Give me two seconds. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and start with the rear pin here, uh, which is your bigger bolt and your bigger washer. We're going to flip this thing over. Like I keep saying, these things are hard to do on camera. I'm actually going to find something to prop the back end to keep the receiver off of the counter. I'm just going to get ghetto and use a piece of tape here, roll, roll tape. Hopefully that works. Eh, should be okay. Alright, so let's see how easy this goes on here. This makes me nervous. Alright. So the first one is through. The pin popped out easy. Go ahead and do the front pin, which is the smaller screw, smaller washer. Same thing, we'll flip it over, line it up, alright guys, sorry about that, my camera ran out of space, had to delete some of my old videos off it, I'm not sure where it cut out at, but uh, we went ahead and uh, pressed both of these screws through, which popped these pins out, going to keep those aside um, and put them back in the bag that the new screws came in, just in case we ever want to take this thing off. So we can move that tape out of the way. Now, <clears throat> we're going to do our blue Loctite here. And make sure the back of this um, side saddle is clean. There's no burrs or anything that might scratch the receiver. I'm just wiping it off on my shirt here off camera, making sure there's nothing catching. And I'm just going to put a little bit of blue Loctite inside here of these screw holes. I probably should have put some on there, but I didn't want to get on the inside of the receiver, so I'll just go ahead and just hopefully apply a little bit here. I don't know if you guys can see that, if it'll focus. We got a little bit of blue there, and a little bit of blue there. Now we're just going to, let's see if we can do this, the best way to do this on camera, is just uh, flip this thing on over. And hopefully, I'm just going to get that started a little bit, get this one started. Cool. You can feel the side cells starting to suck in toward the receiver there. Let's go back and forth. Never do. Never fully tighten one bolt all the way. That seems pretty tight to me. And that's all she wrote, guys. Clean up this Loctite that's coming out from the end there. She's all installed. That took, what, all five minutes? Probably would have been quicker if I didn't do it on camera. Um, let me go ahead and real quick put... I always keep all my Allen wrenches just in case something ever happens. I have sets upon sets of these things because I never get rid of them when the part comes with Allen wrenches. Put those back in there. I put the stock pins back in the bag as well just so I don't lose them. And let's go ahead and get the uh, full effect on this thing real quick. Well, the interruptions don't stop in this video, guys. Somebody was knocking at the door. Sorry about that. Um, but I guess to get this thing the full effect, we'll have to put some uh, shells in this side saddle. And I actually 
don't have any shells. Um, I haven't bought some in quite a while because I haven't gone shooting uh, recently. So I actually borrowed some shotgun shells from a friend of mine who actually also has a Remington 870 with the uh, Magpul stock set. And uh, these aren't the 12-gauge shells um, that I would have gone with, but I'm sure they get the job done. But we'll go ahead and get these put in here just to see what their attention's like on this um, side saddle here. Let's see. And you know what? It's not... It's not too tight, it's not too loose, that's what she said. Uh, it looks like it's just about right. I don't see those going anywhere. Now, obviously, you can um, face these any way you want. You can face the uh, uh, the shell up or down. I know, I know some people do it both ways. Um, but that's how how she looks. Now, the, the real question is, they say this should work with a side set. Let's find out real quick. All right, so there's the... Uh, pump all the way back as you see it's uh, definitely quite a ways away from that side saddle so um, no obstructions there with pumping the shotgun and there is the second part installed on the uh, Remington 870 tactical um, what I'm going to do next is either probably going to be um, an extended safety because this thing is pretty uh, pretty tiny and I can see that being kind of hard to um, uh, take off safe when I'm trying to fire um, along with that, I'll probably be doing a uh, single point mount here. Probably some rail systems up the in there with a flashlight of some kind. But we'll get there all in due time. Um, but yeah, I think this thing turned out looking awesome. Definitely uh, glad I decided to go with the side settle. Gives me uh, six extra rounds I could put in the magazine tube if I have to. So that's about it, guys. Uh, hope you found this how to install a side settle informative. If you guys have any questions, uh, please let me know. If you guys have any recommendations for, um, I don't know, what I should do next, the uh, safety, the single point mount, or maybe some rail at the end there, please let me know. Give me some feedback there. But yeah, she's all done. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, take care, stay safe, and we'll uh, see you soon.